God! You know you shouldn't play near roads. Yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Can you go and tell Farmer Pickles I won't be able to fix the window roads? <laughs> Spud! You know you shouldn't play near roads. Yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Can you go and tell Farmer Pickles I won't be able to fix the window frames in the old cottage until tomorrow? OK, Bob. Spud's on the job, Bob. Thanks, Spud. Right. We've got to get moving, team. Let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Bob, I'm stuck. Well, Spud, I'll only get you down if you promise never to use my tools again. It's dangerous. You could have hurt yourself. Oh, sorry, Bob. Now, can I have my toolbox back, Spud? Oh, Bob, I, I am... Oh, 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 it's all right, Bob. I've got it. Thanks, Lofty. Now you can bring Spud down. Oh. 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 I think I'll stay a scarecrow from now on. It's safer. Spud the Super Scarecrow! <laughs> My plans, they've disappeared. That's not all! Those parts outside... You see my plans? They've disappeared. That's not all. Those parts outside, they've disappeared too. Looks like we've got some investigating to do. Ah! Oh, look. Where are all those birds going? My sunflowers. Ah! Scram, you birdies! Scrambler, what are you doing in my sunflower field? Um, trying to scare birds. Sorry. Where's Spud? Actually. I suppose I am best at scaring birds. <laughs> Scarecrow Spud is on the job! Shoot! Shoot! Hi, Farmer Pickles. What's that feathery thing for, Bob? It's for spring cleaning. Hi, Farmer Pickles. What's that feathery thing for, Bob? It's for spring cleaning. I've been busy all morning. Oh, yes. Very neat and tidy, Bob. Now, I was wondering if you'd lend a hand with the sunflower harvest. Lead the way. Shoot! 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 What's going on? Spud? I don't believe it. Well, I never. Spud? Bud, sorry, Bob. Leave it. Well, what's going on? Spud? I don't believe it. Well, I never. Spud? Bud, sorry, Bob. Sorry, Farmer Pickles. I was trying to rescue the sunflowers from Squaw. Rescue them? You're feeding them to him and his friends. Oh, didn't I say never start a harvest till you've got somewhere safe to put it? Which doesn't mean my caravan. Oh, good job I've got a spare key. Oh, oh, all right, Bob. <laughs> They've not all been damaged. Let's sort through them. Shoot, Squall! Stop eating the seeds! Oh, it's too horrible to watch. That's why I started harvesting, Farmer Pickles. I'm sorry it all went wrong. Oh, Spud. Shoo! You must learn to listen to what people tell you. Go away. We've all got to... Shoo! Work together in Sunflower Valley. Work together? This pot. We'll be back to finish your fence tomorrow. I promise. You know, Pilchard, we would have finished that fence today if my old saw wasn't so blunt. So I'm going to order a brand new one. Just for Wendy. After all, she does just as much sawing as I do. You know, Bird, Bob could really do with a new saw. Beep, beep. Oh, hello. Is that tools for you? Dear me. Oh, hello, everybody. Russell, that's funny. Bob was... Action stations, team. We've got an emergency job. A tree's been blown over and it's blocking the road, so we've got to clear it up right away. But it means we can't help you finish Mrs. Pot's fence, Wendy. Oh, that's OK, Bob. It is an emergency. We're ready, Bob! Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, 
if my van isn't fixed by tomorrow. Special delivery spuds on the job! Sacks there when I went in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Dixon. Bob here. Mm -hmm. Finished. Now, let's see about that parcel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Dixon. Bob here. I thought I'd pop by and pick up my parcel. <coughs> what? <coughs> Disappeared? <coughs> okay. I'll call you if I find it. Bye. Listen, team. For you. Oh, that's great, Wendy. Oh, thank you. It looks like Spud got something right after all. OK, let's look at the plans. First, we'll clear away Travis's old garage and lay new foundations. Then we'll add the walls and the roof. Next, we'll fix on the up and over door. And last of all, we'll add some of Travis's favourite things, so it really feels like home. Farmer Pickles has left a list of them. We'll take a look later. Let's get started! Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Look for lost property again! Phew! This wood is really hard to cut. Could you get me the sharper saw, Wendy? OK! Lost property officer Rowley is staying still and looking... Now, let's get everything inside. Hello, everybody. What are you doing here? We've got a surprise for you, Travis. A new garage? Oh, I've been wishing all day, and it's come true. <laughs> and watch this. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Pilchard. I've got an early start today. Oh, I'm sorry, Pilchard. I've got an early start today. Sorry, I can't stop. I'm on my way to a very special job. Oh, um, it's very early, Bob. I know, but I promised Farmer Pickles I'd be at his farm at the crack of dawn. In fact, Lofty, you can take me there. Oh, uh, can I? Oh, I mean, yes, I can. Come on, let's not wait the others. Life I thought it was. <laughs> I think I'll get back to the quiet life of a builder. <laughs> Good idea, Bob. Being a builder must be a piece of cake. <laughs> get it? Piece of cake. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Spud! <laughs> Here, Bob. I'll meet you. As the river flows past, it should make the wheel turn. And as it goes round, it turns a heavy, flat stone that sits on top of another stone inside the mill. Oh, I get it! Millstones! That's right, Scrambler. So when you put grain between... Wooden floor's rotten. It'll all need replacing. Oh, dear. The millstone's fallen right through to the floor below. Oh, that's odd. Something wrong, Bob. I can only see one millstone. I wonder where the other one could be. Oh, oh can I look for it, Bob? <laughs> Actually, Dizzy, that's a good idea. The water mill won't work without it. 
Bob to Detective Dizzy. Are you okay? No, but we're somewhere really much. Bob to the. Help! Bob, it's Dizzy. Help! Bob to Detective Dizzy. Are you okay? OK, I'm on my way. And this time, as fast as you can, Scrambler. You bet! Scram to the moon! Bob! Over here, Bob! I'm here! Yes, Pod, I can see you. Come on, then. Let's get that foot free. Oh, careful, Bob. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Of straw. Has it come off? Is it gone? Oh, Bob! No, Spud. You're fine. Ha <laughs> ha Only joking. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I'm really sorry about the millstone, Bob. I followed a track and everything. I told you it's in the river, Dizzy. Lost forever. So this is where the track ends? Yes, but I was sure we'd find it. Hmm. Uh, here. Here it is! Great work, Detective Dizzy! I found it! Yippee! Yes, well, I always thought it might. Yes, yes we, we can! Say, yes, we can! Here we are, Teddy Bears. No noise. Oh, hello, foxes. Hello. Yes, dear. We'd have helped you, you know. Really? Yes, and we're going to help you now to find those missing bears. Bears. Uh, yes? I think we'd better follow them. Foxes do sometimes take things, Lofty. Look! A baby fox! That's why they took them, so it could play! Oh, well, why don't we let baby fox have a teddy bear? I still have plenty for my store. But I should have told you. Please, Bob, will you help me help Mrs. Seagull? Of course, Rolly. Let's take a look. A nest. No wonder you got upset when we moved the ship. You were trying to protect your eggs. <coughs> and there's something else in here, too. <gasps> That's what we were looking for! What's inside? Something totally awesome! We'll show you tonight! <laughs> well, of course. Now, let's get this ship moved. It's almost time for the grand opening. And we found it for you, Bob. For me? The Golden Hammer. I thought it was just a story. <gasps> I can't believe you two have found this for me. My very own Golden Hammer. Of course we have, Bob. You're not just any old builder. You're the best builder. Yes! <laughs> Breakfast. Come on, then. Uh, 
It's a bit messy, Bob. It's very messy, Rolly. Still, not to worry. We'll soon fix it. You can start by rolling the road flat. Right you are, Bob. And Dizzy will be needing lots and lots of concrete. Yippee! <laughs> Nice mix, Dizzy. Now we can lay those paving stones. Phew! Oh. There. An emergency at the bridge? OK, Wendy, I'm on my way. Oh! that. There you go, Spud. Back home safe and sound. And I don't want any more mischief from you for a while. No, Bob. Right, Bob. Um, uh, thanks, Bob. Don't thank me. Thank Lofty. If it wasn't for him, you might well not be here at all. I know. Thanks, Lofty. And sorry about teasing you. Are we still friends? So, yeah. <laughs> Hooray for Lofty! That's really good, Lofty! You're my hero! Hooray! Ah, oh, there you are, Bob. Check. Sorry, Mr Bentley. We'd have been here sooner, but we had to collect the tiles. Are you sure you've got enough, Bob? Molly's going to bring some more later. I'll, uh, well, I'll leave you to it then. Thanks, Mr Bentley. OK, Lofty, pass the tiles up now. Oh! Uh... <laughs> I'm only joking, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be safe for hedgehogs. Anyone got any ideas? Well, we could uh, open to traffic. It won't be safe for hedgehogs. Anyone got any ideas? Well, we could, um... Uh, um... Nah. Well, perhaps we could... If we de... Uh... No. Wait a minute. How would people get across a busy road? On a bridge? No, don't think over, think under. You mean build a subway? What a good idea! We'd better get to work. But, um, what about the hedgehogs? They can't just sit here while we work. Well, that's the hedgehog safely across the road. All right, team, it's home time. Let's go! Hooray! And you'll find somewhere. <laughs> you are quite right, Bob. <laughs> Thank you. Nice cosy radiator. No, Mr. Beasley. Looks like your pineapples are going to be heated by horse manure. <laughs> What's horse manure, Bob? Well, uh, 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 well it's, 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 it's a bit like. Come on, Bob. Uh, okay, it's horse poo. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but horse manure makes heat for the pineapple seedlings. Oh, I'll explain later. Escape on the walls and put the roof on. Scoop, scrambler and scratch, you can clear the area around the workshop with Dizzy and Rolly. Brilliant, Bob! Lofty and Mark, you can collect the materials from the supplier's yard. Let's get started! Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh! And look at this, Wendy! My Grandpa Billy's tools! He was a builder too, just like my dad and me. Oh, what's this, Bob? Oh, it's the frame from the sign outside Grandpa Billy's workshop. The sign broke ages ago. But he gave the frame to my dad, and dad gave it to me. Oh, that's lovely, Bob. Let's put these on the keep pile. So, this is the pile for keep... Scratch, 
What did you do? I glued that broken spring back together. Nice and tight. Uh, have a bounce, Bob. Whoa! Oh, are you all right? <laughs> I think so, Scratch. Look, someone glued the broken spring together. Uh, yes, it was me. I was trying to solve a problem by myself. Oh, well, springs lose their bounce once they're broken, Scratch, even if you glue them. That's why we got an extra one. An extra one? Oh, I didn't know. It's better to share some problems, Scratch. So it's good to ask first. I will next time, Bob. I promise. <laughs>